Good afternoon and welcome to Calvary Cathedral's Teoshbe Wakan uh, service, our online service. We're happy you joined us and uh, that uh, we could celebrate together at this time. So let's prepare our hearts for prayer as we begin this service. Let us pray. Wakan Tanka Eota Washaka. Ne ekta wichan chante euha yucha echiha. Taku unchipi iuha sloyaye. Nani e etahan takuni anachich me pichesni. Ne tane awaka etaha wawiuksha unkitoapi unkichiyushkapie. Hechel awichake ha washteone la kapikta. Na ne chaje waka ke yo one haya un yata kapikta. Christi tancha unkitoapi ichiataha. Amen. Let's sing a hymn. Let's sing a hymn. We'll sing, uh, what was that hymn? Uh, one, 148? 148. We'll do uh, two verses. Mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Okay. Mina khiti kteshni ki he Sing the four directions song. Yeah. 
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We'll have our readings. This is a reading from the book of Genesis. After these things, God tested Abraham, and he said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there a burnt sacrifice on one of the mountains that I shall show you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. He cut the wood for the burnt offering and sent out and went to the place in the distance that God had shown him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place far away. And then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey, and the boy and I will go over there. We will worship, and we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac, and he himself carried the fire and the knife. So the two of them walked on together. Isaac said to his father, Abraham, Father, and he said, Here I am, my son. He said, The fire and the wood are here, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, God himself will provide the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So the two of them walked on together. When they came to the place that God had shown him, Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. And then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. 
For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in a thicket by its thorns. Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, The Lord Will Provide. So uh, as it is said to this day, On the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory Glory to to you, Lord Lord Christ. Jesus said, Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to to you, Lord Lord Christ. Christ. Please be seated. These are strange times we're in. And these are unprecedented times, is what you hear everybody talking about. People say these are unprecedented times as they're talking about whether or not they're going to have school in the fall. Or our elected ladies are talking about why something is or is not happening. Um, They'll say these are unprecedented times as they have to close or open different things that they didn't have before. And if you look in the story that we have from Genesis, with Abraham, that was an unprecedented time too. God asked him to sacrifice his only son. And it's kind of scary. I don't think I would be able to do that if God asked me to do that. It would definitely be a big struggle. But I think the important part of the story is that no matter what happens, God always watches out for us. God is always there walking with us when we're afraid, when scary things happen, and in unprecedented times. I can think of lots of other stories. One story from last week, we had the story of Hagar um, and Ishmael, where Sarah sort of cast them out, and they had to figure out, and God provided and took care of them. And I think that reminded me of kind of sometimes how we as black or brown people sometimes feel like we're cast out. Sometimes we feel like we're being about to be sacrificed on the altar, like um, Abraham did, or almost did with Isaac. And I think what we need to remember is that it's kind of like when people eat a pear. If you've ever eaten a pear and you eat it, or apple for that matter, Um, I like a pear better because apples mean something else in Indian country, but um, (laughs) with pear, everybody always eats the pear and they eat the white part. They think that's the best part. And I think our society does that sometimes with people. And what they throw away is the core, which has the black and brown seeds. And what they forget is that core, let's start with the black and brown seeds. What they forget is those black and brown seeds are what have the most power, the most power of the pear or the most power of the apple because you can plant those and they can grow into a whole orchard full of pears, right? Um, you can plant those and they can grow and into something that provides shade. They can grow into something you can use for wood. They can grow into all these different things. And yet everybody thinks this fleshy part is the best part just because you can eat it, or you can consume it. And I think we also think about the core. Um, we throw away the core and if we look at our society, the black and brown people are the core of the society. They're providing all of the essential workers, or at least most of them, to do the things that need to be done to keep this country running during COVID. They are the, the backs on which the country was built. They're the land on which the country is on. They provided all of those things, and yet sometimes we don't think that they're special. But I think it's important to remember that God thinks that you are special. God thinks that the black and brown folks are important. as he rescued um, 
Isaac from being sacrificed on the altar and as he rescues us and is with us in our distress. And I want to just say one other thing, that it was an unprecedented time that called Abraham to Isaac. It was an unprecedented time that brought Jesus into this world. It was an unprecedented situation that Ruth was made into a leader of her people, even though she wasn't even an Israelite. It was an unprecedented time that you are called to now. It's an unprecedented time. But God has prepared you for this, and you are here, and you are loved. Amen. We'll have the prayers of the people at this time. So let us prepare our hearts for prayer. In peace and unity with all peoples, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Hear our prayer. Creator and Redeemer, as we approach you in prayer, help us to have an open mind and a forgiving heart. We pray for your community. We pray for the, uh, the Anglican Church in the world. We pray for the Diocese of South Dakota, especially for our Bishop Jonathan and all bishops, priests, and deacons, and lay people. We pray for the Episcopal Council of Indigenous Ministries. Uh, the Reverend uh, Bradley Hoff is our canon missioner. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church, for Jonathan, our bishop in South Dakota, and for all ministers. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Creator, maker of all that is, may the rising sun remind us of you who gives us great wisdom and strength. Help us, your people, as we walk your sacred path in life. Guide our leaders and the leaders of all the nations to wise decisions and right actions so that generations to come may have light as they walk your path. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Creator, may goodness be always in our hearts and gentleness in our speech. We are reminded of the things that make us happy in this life, friends and family and you. O oh, great power and source of all life, Help us to walk with you always. We pray for our family that is far away from us, for their safety. We pray for broken relationships and for time to heal. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Creator, we thank you for our families and friends and even our enemies. We thank you for letting us rely on your protection and for your grace to help us in time of need. You are the great one who calms our fears and anxieties. You have power over the harshness of our lives. Give us strength and courage to walk the strong winds in life by walking with you. We pray to you for new life and awareness for those who suffer in body, mind, and spirit, for those that are alone, the sick, and all who care for them, for the homeless, the unchurched, the unemployed, those contemplating suicide and for their families. Grant that your spirit may sustain, protect, and heal them. Today we honor all the prayers in our hearts that we name aloud or say silently. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray, Great Spirit, that our journey through life may know the harmony and rhythm of the setting sun. We pray that we may look longingly towards the sunset of our lives and feel your greatness and beauty within us. Creator, we pray for all who have died that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom where there is no pain or grief but life eternal. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For yours is the majesty, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, also with, with you. you.
Tunkashila wa Kantanka is here. God's Spirit never leaves us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us always offer our thanks. It is right to offer our thanks and glory. It is right and it is good and it is joyful to always offer our thanks to you, Creator Tunkashila, for your gifts in all of creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who on the first day of the week overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with all of the faithful spirits, sacred beings, and all our relatives on earth and in heaven who offer this song of praise. Wakam, 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 itancha wakantanka. All in heaven and in earth give, give you glory. Tunkashila, you loved your creation so much that when it was time, you sent your chaske, Jesus Christ, to complete our adoption with the rest of your creation through his baptism and ours. We now stand within your creation as your humble children. Help us to see you and all our relatives within this holy ceremony so that we may serve the world through our prayers and actions. In the beginning, we wandered in darkness until through your care and calling, we entered into the sunlight where we joined the rest of your creation. You provided for our needs, teaching us how to live by always seeking your voice. When it was time, you sent your Wonia Waka to bless our Inawaka Mary with the birth of your Chaske Jesus, so that we might never walk alone again. He taught us how to pray, how to heal, and how to mature as his brothers and sisters and siblings. When it was time, Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his family and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this with me and with all our relatives. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new adoption, which is shed for you and for all our relatives for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this with me and with all our relatives. Tunkashila, grandfather, invites us to pray. We, we thank, thank you, you. We, we praise, praise you. you. We, we offer ourselves to you. We make our offering to you with a humble heart, giving you these gifts of bread and wine. We ask you to send your Onia Wakan to bless these offerings, that they would be ceremonial food of the body of Christ and blood of the new adoption. Help us to stand with your son, your Chaske Jesus Christ, that we might be good children in your creation, being made holy by your Onia Wakan. When it is time, return to us so that we might always stand with all of your relatives as a sacred people. By Jesus and with Jesus and in Jesus, in the completion of Tukashila's creation, all glory and honor are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior has <coughs> taught us to pray, Ate Uyapi. Mahia ekta na kechin, ni chaje wa kama inuwe, ni toki choje unuwe, mahia ekta ni tawachi e chopiki, he echel makal aka e chompi nuwe, ampetu eohi ahuya piki, ampetu kile un kupie. Na tona e chishnea, e cha un ki chipi, we cha un ki chi ja jujupi ki, he e echel wa uchta ni pi ki, un ki chi cha jujupi e. Da ta ku wa we yu tai chi, ek ta un kayapi shni bi e, da ta ku shi che e ta ha, E on la kupie. Woke chon shake, na woa shake, na woa tinke, hena ohinia, na ohinia, 
Ni Tawaheon. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ, your chastge, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let us keep, keep the feast. Alleluia. These are the gifts of God for you, the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Let us pray. Tunkashila wa kantanka, you have accepted us as your children, as we have been adopted by your chaske, Jesus Christ. You have fed us with the sacred food in the sacrament of Christ's body and blood. Send us into the world in peace, taking your spirit with us, so that we might serve all we meet as holy relatives. Make us strong and brave to love and serve you with happiness and peace devoted to you through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Creator, the Redeemer, the Sustainer be with you and all you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Our closing hymn is... One something, 132. I can get it. Yes. Two <coughs> verses. So. Two verses, yep. okay. Me na hi ki na ku Me to wi yu kha ki Itan cha kris cha je ki Peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God.